Hello and welcome to a new Tableau video series. With these videos, we want to show you an easy way to start visualizing data with Tableau. It is a very powerful tool and is currently one of the leaders in BI software. As you can see in the Magic Quadrant from 2019, Tableau keeps appearing among the other leaders. Microsoft has gone very up with Power BI, but even if Tableau is not our personal favorite, we really like its features, like the amazing visuals you can create and of course, all the insights it can help you get from your data. We will be using Tableau version 2018.1.2 for our tutorials. You can download it from the Tableau website and activate it with a free trial. All the links will be in the description below. Now let's begin with some important details, like the current type of licenses and a little bit of their differences. Tableau license is $70 for individuals but if you're using Tableau within your organization, it's very important to know the license that has been assigned to you, which can be a creator, explorer, or just a viewer. And now we're wondering, uh, what's a creator, what's explorer, what can they do or cannot do? Today we want to bring some light to the subject and mention some of the main differences between licenses. So let's start with some exclusive options for the creators. They can use the desktop application and the Tableau prep. These applications are installed in their computers. They can connect to different data sources, including local files or from different servers. They can create flows with the prep application and output the resulting data in CSV or Tableau extension files. And this output can also be published directly to Tableau server. This prep builder was introduced in 2018 as a way to bring more data cleanup options for the users. They can publish workbooks with new datasets from the desktop application. Now explorers on the other hand, they don't get the desktop application nor the data prep tool. They can, however, connect to data sources published by the creators in the server, modify existing workbooks or create new ones in the server app. They can modify permissions of the published workbooks and they can download the complete underlying data from the workbooks, not only the summarized data. So bottom line, Explorer can also do many nice things, but they have to do it in the server app and they depend on the creators for the data. Now for the viewers, we're not going to say much about them. They will be reading our reports and can fully interact with them in the server, getting the insight they need from the reports that were crafted specifically to meet their needs. They also depend much on the permission they have or the groups they belong to. It's important to note that they cannot download the underlying data. They can, however, see the summarized data shown in the visuals. One of the important details is to choose the correct mix of users. Tableau includes a page describing a little bit what the creator, explorer, or viewer profile is. But essentially, if you're making the decision in your team of who should have what, you should know that your creators are those that usually prepare and distribute your reports. They are used to clean up raw data into consumable format, whether they do it manually or through some other data prep techniques with Excel. They extract data from your source system, databases, file, etc. And they may also be the ones that usually shape those into visuals, probably using Excel charts or any other software. Our opinion is that they should have data skills, like some background technical skills. Tableau is sometimes intuitive, but it'll help in the training curve if they, for example, know what a left, inner, or right join between two tables is. So we encourage that this group is the most technical possible. Now onto the explorer side. They will also be creating reports. They can be a little less technical, but usually they are users comfortable with handling data. They are the users that may not be full-time analyzing, but they know the way around Excel formulas, pivot tables, receiving and combining reports, etc. They will use already prepared data published by the creators, but they will also be customizing reports in the server with the same user interface as the desktop version. For our tutorials, we're going to be working with the desktop version. So that's it for today's video. We really hope that this has given you a good start on how licenses are currently working for Tableau. 
how to choose your creators, your explorers, and create that perfect mix within your team. Thank you again and please keep tuned for our next videos. We're going to be creating a couple of tutorials on how to start really quick with Tableau, how to connect to data, how to do simple transformations with the prep builder, how to use groups, how to use sets, how to combine them, how to use parameters and build amazing visualizations really quick. So thank you again. My name is Irvin. Welcome to our channel. This is PowerGI.